my name is Swetha, and I'm going to give you a quick um, overview of my background and how I got here. Um, so I'll start with my undergraduate education. So I went to the University of Brighton. Um, also, like Hayden mentioned, it is it is a seaside town, but it's mostly, mostly cold and rainy. <laughs> Um, so I studied biomedical science there and my final year research project uh, was focused on microbiology. After that, um, I went on to get a job for a pharmaceutical research company um, called Vectura. And there I looked at um, drugs um, and nebulizers. So nebulizers are smart inhalers which deliver drugs um, to different parts of the airways. Um, so after three years there, um, I forgot to mention whilst I was there, I did do a part-time um, MSc in drug development from Queen Mary's University. So I didn't put a photo there because I had very little um, travel to the university. So I actually did um, most of my work um, whilst I was at the company um, and living in Bristol. Um, so that was interesting because I was working with uh, I'd say like two different kinds of science. Um, one was uh, practical um, at work in Vectura and the other side was uh, very theoretical. I was reading a lot of literature and writing. Um, and then after three years um, at Vectura and studying at Queen Mary's, I decided to do a PhD because I really enjoyed um, the research aspect of what I was doing. Um, so then I applied to the Census CDT um, and um, here, oops, sorry, and here um, I'm working across three different labs, um, which is quite fun. So I, I talk to uh, people um, all over the university, really. So um, part of my work is at Addenbrooke's Hospital in the radiology department. Um, I also do some work at the MRC Cancer Unit, and I am based primarily here, which is um, the Chemical Engineering and Biotechnology Department. So, um, um, so why did I choose to do a PhD after three years in industry, really? Um, so whilst I was looking into a PhD, um, mainly, as I said, because I liked the research aspect of what I was doing in my master's. Um, and then I chose the CDT because, um, as Axel and Hayden have already mentioned, um, CDT provides a sense of community. Um, and I really have been enjoying this sense of CDT community because we've got various workshops, um, seminars, um, constant touch um, with the program managers and the rest of our cohorts and the other cohorts as well, actually. So you feel constantly supported whilst going through your MRES and PhD years, um, which is really nice because as Hayden said, PhDs sometimes are not easy and it's really nice to have, to know that you're fully supported. Um, and also with a PhD, you know, the research is exciting and you get to choose what you want to look into. Um, so that's, that's really cool. Um, there's not many places um, out of academia you can really do that. Um, and of course, not to mention, you get to do this with leading academics, um, such as Axel, who's introduced us into CDT. Um, and then we also, you know, have lots of opportunities um, for networking and travel, which would help you in, in your future life and travel um, not only for work, but, you know, it's, it's fun too, <laughs> whilst, you're, whilst you're at conferences abroad. Um, so whilst you're here at university, obviously you can get involved in university life. Um, so there's opportunities um, to study languages, get involved with sport and various societies. Um, and also, um, as mentioned before, um, I've made so many friends here within the CDT community and outside this community as well. And I do believe they are friends for life and it's, um, it's really nice to know that you're not alone. Um, so with regards to the future, um, what do I want to do? So I'm in my second year of the PhD. Um, I'd like to go work in a collabor collaborator's lab. Um, so, you know, throughout your PhD, obviously you'll have many collaborators who are not in Cambridge or in Cambridge, um, and you'll get the opportunity to go work with them and learn from, you know, their methods, their skills, um, and things like that. 
So I would like to get that experience too. Um, so I'll look into doing that soon. Um, and then after the PhD, there's obviously many career options like this. Um, so you can continue in academia, go into industry, consulting, entrepreneurship, um, so that the options are limitless really. But I'm considering pharmaceutical law because that's something that, um, I don't know, interests me, but of course I might change my mind in two years time when I do finish.